have learned how to ground yourself, how to protect yourself, how you receive information, how things come to you, how how do you um, receive some signals and begin studying those signals or trying different things when, uh, with people. Um, if for some reason you get stuck and you feel like, you know what, um, I've been trying and trying, but uh, it's been quite some time that I don't get nothing. Maybe this is because you have to go back to basic, basics once again. Uh, begin again uh, grounding yourself. Begin maybe um, meditating, listening to some music. Maybe you will uh, use something like this. A singing bowl. Uh, which could help you. Also, you can uh, stare at a candle because sometimes the mind is so busy and thinking about, oh, um, in five minutes I have to take out the laundry, I have to do this and I have to do that. Staring out at a candle, at the flame of a candle, can also help you um, quiet the mind and just kind of enjoy what you see on the flame, how it moves up ups and down, how it change colors, and I think that um, might help you bring your focus uh, again into what it has to be, because I think one of the most important things um, while doing a uh, medium reading is to learn to, to detach for, from your mind and let the outside or where 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 the visions build just work by itself and and to allow yourself to to have more freedom uh, from your mind maybe you can practice um initiating something some kind of a relaxing uh five minutes three minutes as long as you are doing it, it doesn't have to be like 30 minutes or anything like that, but as long as you are doing it um, with consistency, I think it will work for you. You can just imagine, you know, you can do the chakras exercise that we talk about, uh, and that will help you like center yourself, ground yourself, and, and bring back um, the energies or align yourself where everything kind of has to has to go the other thing is you can just close your eyes and let things come into your mind and leave and um, without making any efforts of seeing anything and if you can accomplish that and then you can um going through into really um study meditation there is another um, thing that you might notice, and I happen to notice this also while I was meditating. Okay, so what I did is I just lay down, um, relax, and I would just focus here. Okay, with my eyes, I would just focus here, and I would stay there. Just, um, just there. If a thought comes, I would just let it come, then let it go. But I keep focusing here. And if I do that, after I stay there for like a minute or so, then I begin seeing colors. Sometimes I, I will start seeing like purple and they will open and then close. And then a new color will come like green and it will open, it will move and then it will close. And maybe pink, it will open, it will close, it will go and then purple will come back. And things like that. And to me, when this started happening to me, it was something new because I asked a lot, uh, a lot of other people, when you're meditating, do you happen to see anything or do you feel anything? And most people will say, no, I don't see anything. But some that are more advanced um, do recall seeing sometimes faces or figures or or things like that so that is another thing that i i um, i kind of find out that i could do that while meditating just the colors and i really enjoy the colors 
because you know they take form and they change themselves and then a new color will come and then goes away and etc like that so if you um accomplish that maybe um it's another degree of meditation and maybe in some point after trying and trying is something that you you will say yes i know exactly what you're talking about another thing also sometimes you will see like figures or or just things deform and then go away and things like that uh with that i i also remember a long time ago i i um i had like a uh, a dream that it was very special to me because all I remember is I was in a room and this room had a lot of squares of different colors but these colors were uh, extremely vivid okay and um, I can kind of see the color moving the squares of colors moving and I began feeling that I could manipulate these colors like um, like I could just uh, with my mind say, okay, this color goes uh, like brighter or more vivid and that color will become more uh, uh, bright and vivid. Then I start seeing the floor and it was also squares of colors that I can say, okay, I want pink to be like this and like that. And the colors uh, to me in this dream felt like they were alive. And... It was such a beautiful dream that until this day, when I remember it, it, it gives me that, um, I don't know, it's like a, a sense of happiness and a, a sense of uh, oh, how cool that is, how cool, how beautiful, how, um, how indescribable it was because um, I think that along, along the way, um, I had always feel like, my past loved ones had kind of helped me or indicated me how to do something even when i was a uh, very little um how to protect myself and so many things that i had um had had experience in my dreams that i i'm like sometimes think okay i have no explanation for this but it's wonderful and i thank my past loved ones and the spirits that had come and helped me in these dreams um, with guidance because without that I think I will feel like I I I will feel like I'm a little more lost and I'm don't really know how to do it still but thanks to dreams that I have had I had learned things so that that is why paying attention to your dreams maybe having a journal um about dreams is high i will highly advise it and it's very important for everyone also knowing what dreams what the meanings of the dreams are what are they trying to tell you um is also important because in your dreams um if you are already intuitive or or you you know you have a sense of, okay i just know things so sometimes i receive these premonitions and indications of things that are going to happen in a dream it's important to notice it's important to take note because you pass loved ones or spirits or angels is where they're going to come to also help you and guide you into in your journey in life teaching you things that that there is no other way you could had find out and understand so clearly so i advise everyone pay attention to your dreams thank you for allowing me that is all i have for now i wish you all a wonderful day bye